All right, next up, we are going to make the, what happens when I click on a note. All right, you know what now, this shouldn't go to edit. This just should go to see the note. Sorry about that, note. All right, now here in note, we are gonna make also a query. Um, import GraphQL from GraphQL tag. All right, and this query is not gonna be shared, so I'm just gonna say here const get query. All right, and GraphQL. All right, now the div, whoa. The difference is that this query has to have a name because it has a variable. So I will say get note, not get query, get note, sorry. All right, and this gets a variable, uh, that will be an integer, and then I do get note, I don't know the name of it, let me go check out the name again. Uh, note, only one note, so it's note, that's it, note. Okay, note, has ID, needs a ID. All right, and I need to get the title, the content, and all that shit. But thankfully, I've got the fragment. So I'm gonna do note fragment. I'm gonna put it here at the end. And here I am gonna type the name note par parts, parts, parts. Note parts, okay. All right, and now import query from React Apollo. And here we are gonna do the query. Query, get note. But there's a problem though. Uh, we actually need to get the ID from the URL here, ID number one. So I am gonna console log the props and then we will unpack them because I have no idea how they look. Console log this dot props and this is no. Okay. All right, so let's refresh this. And what's up? We need to console log the props. This is note. Yes, so what? Components, application, note, slash ID, component, note. Yes. Note. Okay, so look at this. Match, location, history, note. We need match, params, and ID. All right. Match, params, and ID. So, from this dot props, I am going to get match params match params ID because the query needs variables and is looking for an ID. Remember, ID, ID, ID. And I will refresh missile field node in. In what? All right, good stuff. Note fragment, note parts, note fragment. Okay, we're good to go. Let me just console all this data. See what's up. I refresh and whatever, but oh, it doesn't work. This doesn't work. So it means that I'm not finding the note. Uh huh, interesting. All right. There is a bug here. Where's the bug? Notes and note title.
Bravo, all right. I click and it says query, blah, 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 but there is nothing on the query. And I don't understand why. Let's look at client state, note, ID, type name, no, variables, yes, note, fragment, yes. And this is the ID number one. Okay. If I go and look at note, note, render, this prop return query, variables, ID, get note, ID. And the query is note id id okay note parts are inside of node fragment fragment node parts id title and content should i put this thing here maybe i don't know no all right i think this is a stupid stupid as bug i will see you soon all right, I just fixed this by putting client. I always forget that I'm still dealing with uh, with offline, okay? You shouldn't forget this. Always put client here. That means it's offline because what this was doing was going to an API and that doesn't exist, okay? I'm gonna copy this thing in get note here and I'm gonna put them on queries, okay? Because we will need it later. We need it when we are um, getting one node, but also we're gonna need it when we are export, not exporting, sorry. We need it when we get one node and also we need it when we are um, editing the node. So that's why. And I am gonna change this as well. Node parts. Okay, it shouldn't be a problem get node is not defined of course it's not get node okay node export const all right and now the node has arrived great so here we are going to make my node um i will see you soon because i am gonna install i uh, know i'm gonna do css but I will see you for the markdown situation, okay? Because what the person is going to type is going to be markdown, which is like this document system, document language. And then we're going to render that. So I'm going to show you how to render markdown. See you soon. All right, so this is how it looks. It doesn't look fancy. It's not amazing, but that's what we have. Um, the explanation is very, very, very simple. We have the query. We have the variables. Uh, I render a com tile component with a data ID. I edit to edit the note. Um, that's it. Basically, that's it. And the, the cool part is markdown render. Markdown rendering will take a string that you give them in markdown way and it will turn it into markdown. All right. So that's it. You can just put a string along as a string, such as, for example, hello, how am I? and then maybe a back column here doing n and then hi and then maybe this doesn't work i want to see hello and you will see what happens just do this and as you can see it works it turns a string into markdown which is awesome all right uh, I just downloaded it, John at Markdown React Markdown Renderer, and that's it. Very happy with it. And data that note that content. And that's it. It works. Okay. As you can see, it says first and second because in my client state I have first and second. If I had something here, it will be different. All right. As you can see. All right. So that's it. I think for now. On the next one, we're gonna go to edit. Okay. Edit. It's a little bit different because I want to create a component called editor here in components. Um, I will explain to you what it does, but it's basically a form where I edit stuff, of course, but I want to use it because I need to use the same thing when I'm editing and the same thing when I am adding, like it's the same form basically. Uh, so I'll do it and I'll let you know, I'll, I'll show you on the next one how it goes. Uh, all right, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.